as now they start running up the stairs. Shush whips out his neighbor. The nades all fly too deep. He finds the first headshot. Great supporting flash, but Nikodos unfortunately blinded in the process. But Shush has been able to support Nikodos for another frag. Dancing around the back of the bomb site. Shush and Nikodos looking for more. Shush still alive as eyeballers walk into the meat grinder heap. Such low HP. Still manages to get away with another headshot. Heap doing it all. Both players, one bullet from death. This pissed around is such an important start for Heroic. One stray bullet could do it. Shush doesn't know. Shush doesn't know that the bomb is still on the back of the site, I don't think. Unless he's just rotating round to heaven. Okay. A 1v1 right now with Shush on 2 HP creeps up underneath him again. One bullet required from either of these two weapons. And honestly, I would favor the Glock for an engagement like this. Shush. Does he check short? He's checking short. This is down to timings. Yes! Shush will find the frag. That is a fantastic way to win a pistol round. The 1v1 clutch, and that is going to be dead weight on the minds of eyeballers. In the meantime, Shush eyeballs the prize. Even a little graffiti there to celebrate as heroic stick to landing with the first round. This fair mass is heap is happy trying to take map control. JW finds the opening kill. Tess has trades back on the MP9. Nerds now edging forward. Spots heap. Can't save his teammate. 3v3 still as both teams have run completely out of utility. It comes down to a brawl. In theory, this should favor the CT side, but the problem is Nertz is looking the wrong way as they come up the B stairs. No information. And because they don't have any utility, Nertz is not going to get any prior warning. They're going to storm the site for free. Although that singular nade forces Nerds back into the right position. Misses the cross, though. Shine on the swing. Spots the head of Nerds, and with that eyeball, let's have the bomb plant. That has to be a save now for Heroic. Why not just chuck the other weapon backwards instead, forcing another dangerous and risky peak to pick up another weapon, but... Well, that's a full set of armor gone, another rifle dropped, and with that, it's first on the ball for the eyeball. Major situation, Shush on the D. He has been a master so far. As Nerds re-smokes towards the short side. And pulls away with a headshot. Still a man advantage. Heaven player Dink. Nico, fantastic converted spray onto Pepsor. As kicks on, looks to continue being mischievous. Molotov found, but he can't afford to pick up a gun here. Needs to silently creep back up the ramp, but JW seems to have some idea of this. Kicks on will not be clearing behind him. It is a free kill for JW. But Sapek, this is so sneaky. If anyone pushes forward to clear the bomb site, Sapek gets a free kill. Oh, and they're lining up as well. Sapek, this should be an easy 2k, but Nerds responds with a fantastic deagle kill. JW last alive now with the bomb, and Nerds has been left behind the sandbags. JW alerted to the fact that this could be a position, but Nerds on the wide swing recovers things fantastically, and that is what Heroic needed to respond with. All right, they've got a player boosted up in JW here. And on the swing, kicks on actually adjusts in time. That's a really good kill from the IGL, but a very good response from Pepsor. Deagle raining out. The flash is perfect. Kicks on Shush. Another one apiece. Tech 9 has the advantage, but Tessus will stay for life of his IGL. That is some great team play. Good reactions and heroic. Come on, boys. No need to overextend. We don't need these eco frags. The nade is good. Does a lot of damage. Tessus gets a free frag off of it, and the Molotov should do... Heavy hitting for the rest, but no. It's actually a nade instead to be a saving grace. As now pressure applied to Kixon. He just needs to hide. Needs help from his team. Guys, this is pistols. Shine now bragging, grabbing an AK. There's nurse left to deal with the carnage towards the back of the site. Shush on a rear flank. But they anticipate this. Shine now watching behind with the AK. Heap is low if they can get rid of him. That's another target that they don't have to worry about. But he just grabbed an AK. And Shush and Nerds grab a kill apiece. That was a poorly played round in the sense that you should never be losing three to pistols like that on a ramp rush. Looking to pull off an early play towards the ramp. That Molotov's going to force him out into the open. Taking a lot of damage and Shine to finish with the nade. But kick some of the 2k spray down. That is exactly the kind of response we're looking for. But Nerds overextends in middle. Does get Pep still can't convert the spray. Test this means this is now a 1v3 for Heap, though. Shush on the cross. Spots for leg. Pulls out the frag grenade, and he clings on to 11 HP before quickly being dispatched of, and that's five on the board for Heroic. Nikodos. Almost looked like he was good for a collateral there. Picks up one, but needs to get the hell out of dodge. Drops a nade to allow for his fallback. 
Now holding the short side angle as Nurtz deals with the lurk and Pepsor kicks on, doubles up, shine, you monster! What a transfer with the Tech 9 of all weapons. Kicks on and Tess is taken down. That's economic damage done at the very least. That's the sort of... Nobody's watching behind. He could potentially get two here. I don't think all three would be a possibility. JW though. Spotted. Only one but shine on two HP. That's all he needed to do. Eyeballers know that they're pins now. They know they have to fight forward and quickly. Flash flies over. Shine turns away. Bomb. Knocked off the map. JW left in a one versus five, and he will find the first onto Tessus. It's a nice shot, but with 25 seconds remaining with this short push coming in, JW finds a second. No more 1v1s, please, Heroic. Just play the time. Nurt sits behind the bomb site itself. His back is about to be showing. This is going to be another kill. Nikodos needs to swing off the contact, but Nurt swings faster. Oh my god, JW. Three kills to his name. That gets scary, Nikodos. We'll put him to bed, though. A costly round. A scarier round than it needed to be. It's always fun casting my heroes. A shush in the meantime needs to become one. Deals with Sapek. The initial threat covers the cross. Shush finds two. Damage is a third. Oh, but Shine's back on a tech nine. You do not want to let Shine cook on a tech nine. You do not want to let Heap stay alive that long on such low HP. And thankfully, Nerds puts him to bed. But Pepsil's not done fighting yet. Pulls away another. And the pistols find another three frags. But they do not convert. And Heroic have found eight. Sprinkling in a couple of those faster pace rounds is exactly what they need to do more of as kicks on in the meantime. Picks up the pace himself. Tess has kicks on. They close on down. They find the bomb. It's all up to Pepsil. But he does bag himself a winnable 1v2. Nikodos now to cover the top of the ramp with an orb. Oh, nerds. Excellent positioning. Good presence of mind to go back and double check T spawn. Eyeball is again applying pressure towards the A ramp as Nikodos gets a little cheeky with it. Goes for the early peak. It's not worked out particularly well so far. But Nikodos saves the life of Tessus, at least for now, with a distraction. Great job from Nikodos and Tessus. They're farming up on the ramp. They're going in for more, but they can't afford to overextend. They had a three-man advantage. Whittled down to none. Nerds now going for a solo swing. Wait for your teammate, Nerds. Manages to get himself in towards short, though. Behind the cover of the initial flashbang heap. Watching behind doesn't realize Nerds has caught this timing. They think he's gone back to Elevator. And with that, he closes in on JW again. These rounds constantly closer than they need to be. Heap left in a 1v2 though. And 11 HP to his name. The smoke can alleviate some of the pressure. But I don't think that's his main concern right now. Heap playing an incredibly slow line, trying to bait a rotation, but instead of a rotation, he gets Nurts, but thankfully the low HP costs him. Nurts capitalizes. Nikodos in the meantime. Requires a head replacement for Sapek. Nurts necessitates heavy mid-presence to deal with as he sprays down two. In fact, no, is that a team kill? It's a team assist from Pepsil. Tessus finishes off Shine. Pepsil last alive. And this is where the dogs are let loose. Could use a bit of Sandstorm. But instead he gets blown away. Six feet under. He's been spotted. Nikodos sees him. He doesn't realize there's a four-man push coming in, but kicks on still able to get away with the first frag. Two players now spotted towards his B-side. But now the capitalization on mid-control comes in. Tess is charging through, but they don't clear the, the gen player. Thankfully, Nurse and Tess are able to mitigate this as Pepsil now fights with the dastardly Doolies. He's got both of them lined up. They need to swing as a unit and actually land the damn shot. But they swing without letting Nurse reload, and Pepsil capitalizes. We have them pincer, but it's still eyeballers to come out on top. As Tessus does that to shine. That's the kind of entering I want to see more of. JW, that's the kind of orping I want to see less of. Stop being good. Thank you, QQ Famous, for the sub. Appreciate it. JW, in towards middle. Does he deal with the blink? No, he doesn't. Nikodos, that's a fantastic opener on middle with the rifle. Again, he's a primary rifle. He, he doesn't really orp. Shush in the meantime deals with heap. 
And the bodies keep heaping up for Eyeball as now a four versus two comes through, but Pepsa manages to bring back that advantage slightly. Sebek and Pepsa in the two versus three. Do they go for the retake? And with that, the bomb ticks down. Pepsa does upgrade to an AK, but with no warp save, that is a massive blow to JW's firepower. And Heroic now have nine opportunities to close. Overtime guaranteed. Not that I would like to see us go to an overtime at this late stage of the game. He might run out of ammo before he's able to. Oh, but he lands a headshot onto JW as he leaps through the air. Does he clear close again? No, he does not. Sapek given a rifle. Shush spots heap on the back of the B bomb side. Do they start picking up the pace here? Yes, they do. Tessus, first man onto the site, has two targets to choose between. Will go down because of it. Heap swings as well. Heap doubles up. Nurse tries for the tap, but Peps are still alive. They're being flanked as well. Shine a great kill. Kicks on. A 1v4 for the ages required. Manages to land a great headshot onto Shine and in the in the meantime, actually sticks the bomb plant, you madman. Peppered by bullets, finds another, but it will be heaped to close him down. And without a fourth on the ball for eyeballers, as long as they can find that bomb in the smoke. But they got plenty of time, it's no real issue. And Heroic costs themselves another round. Nice try. Overpass and Vertigo, two of the biggest AWP maps in the game right now. The Sapec being kept busy on short testers. Does he go through the smoke? Yes, he does, but he's punished for it. Nika does a good trade. Shine to fall, but JW also follows through. Kicks on caught in the smoke. Unable to find another trade. Takes a tickle of damage from the nade. And with that, we are back to a 3v3. As Shush gets a blinded Molotov kill. Oh, but no, it doesn't clear his corners in middle. The Heap joins up with Sapec. There is so much on the line here. One smoke on Heap. Do they go for the ninja? They've got the kits for it. Oh, but Kickstarter's waiting in the smoke. Kicks on swings. Kicks on swings prematurely. He could have stayed hidden. He could have denied the deep fuse. Oh, and with that, Shush goes down as well. No need for the swing. And Heroic, because of it, lose out on another conversion opportunity. Five rounds now for eyeballers. Does Heap extend to you? Not yet. Okay, Sandra's on the uh, the overhead cams. Wrong bomb site, Sandra. <laughs> it's open. It's open. Now it's my point. It's okay. Sapek finishes up both of our bomb carriers towards the B stairs, though. This test is now edges his way back over to B. Realistically, with the loss bonus, he, he kind of just needs to die in this round. If he can take Sapek with him, that would be good. That's an AK save denied, but his barrel's been spotted. Sapek sees him. Flash comes through. Okay, that, that's an AK denied. 10 Lurking out on A, has a fantastic opportunity. He hears the boost disassembly, finds one. Almost the second. If Tessus finds the second, that could have been the round. Really good awareness from eyeballers. Great reactions. Fair play to them. Heap, does he get checked here? That's what I want to know. I don't know if they check Heap. They mollied it, but the molly didn't go deep enough. And with that, I don't know if we're going to be able to win this round. And now JW's orping again anyway. Heap swings wide. Yeah, Nikodos 1v4. Bates had an orp shot. Knows Heap is still there. Has no utility to flush anybody. Speaking of flushing... Shout out to Flusher on the retirement, as I might have to retire soon if Heroic let this go into an overtime. They have no information on Sandbag, so that's going to be a constant fear for them. As Tessus needs to swing wide here, and he needs an opening kill. One player on the bomb site. Tessus looks to trade out his pistol players and does so nicely. Nikodos finds the short threat. A swing comes in from elevator. Tessus guns him down. It's a 5v2. Heroic, if you lose this post plot, I don't know what I will do with myself. Nuts. Perfect position. It does get brief fight, but so does JW. Finally! Finally, some decent success from Heroic. We've done it! We win a flawless decent round against guns! Yes! 13 to 7! We've done it! We knock out eyeballers in round number two. That's what we need to see from Heroic. God damn. Way too stressful. Whew. I, I'm out of breath, man.